blessings, sending blessings to you mothers out there. Blessings, love, blessings to all of you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Welcome to your Mother's Day Pick a Pile reading. So here you guys, we've got two piles. Pile number one, which is this one here, is being represented by a piece of moonstone. This is a stone of inner growth and strength. It soothes emotional instability and stress, stabilizes the emotions, providing calmness. Moonstone enhances intuition, promotes inspiration, success, and good fortune in love and business matters. And then in pile two here, we've got a piece of goldstone. Goldstone builds energy, courage, and a positive attitude. Increases drive and confidence. A gently uplifting stone. Goldstone promotes vitality. Goldstone helps to reduce stomach tension and benefits for arthritic conditions. Okay, guys. So pick your, pick your pile there. Whichever one of those stones is speaking or calling to you. Pick your pile. Close your eyes. Envision the stones in your mind. Whichever one comes to your vision first, that's your pile. Okay, ready? Okay, guys, card number one, uh, well, pile number one is card number 33, Soul Love. This, is car this card is a transmission from your soul, talking about unconditional love. This card is saying that you are clear, pure love. Nothing from your past will block your dreams. Uh, your future will be nothing like it has been before. Uh, you're the center of your universe, looking outward through your experiences. You look out in balance. You are seeing through love and will experience many variations of love. Uh, you make love your purpose. You find it wherever you can. If you begin to feel anything inside your world that does not feel like love, you shift your awareness so that your energy or your eyes uh, look in different directions until you return to love. Um, you are so devoted to your purpose of love that no one can sway you from it. You are one, uh, some, someone who abs absolutely gives unconditional love to the people in your life. Okay, the next card that comes for pile number one is card 42, Tree of Souls. This card comes as a message from your soul family, your ancestors, your spirit guides, the angels. The divine your entire soul family and the message here is a collective wisdom a kinship a group a library this is speaking of um, places and beings who are literally the storehouses of wisdom of the ages the akashic libraries do not always appear as books of light although this is one of their forms is through the trees so too are the whales and their songs also part of this great wisdom necessary for the universe to continue this tree is but one of those places and perhaps it is yours this tree when meditating upon it will help connect you with your true sense can offer you to the wisdom of your soul kinship group ancestral knowledge yes but there's a collective wisdom a soul group of which you are a part and through connecting so this, this here is showing that right now your soul group is very present in your life, that they are there helping you um, make decisions, um, helping you become illuminated within yourself of who you are. Um, the message here is that you belong to the universe, that you're part of a collective of souls to help and nurture each other throughout lifetimes. Beautiful. Okay, and the last message um, card number three and pile number one is card number two and this is a message from the universe and your your card is the card of compassion this card is telling you that during a, some kind of a possible healing challenge that you've had um, in the in the recent um, time frame it might be seem like a count, counterintuitive to have compassion for someone who hurt you in the past however forgiveness is a vital step in your healing process so you need to just telling you that you need to decide to let go of resentment, uh, feelings of hurt, suffering, being the victim, or wanting revenge 
Um, these are low vibrational and they prevent you from making progress. So it's, this card is here to tell you that forgiveness carries a high vibration. Uh, forgiving someone in your past will help bring healing to you. Um, you don't need to communicate an apology. Forgiveness is something you can do within yourself. Uh, once you decide to forgive, it can lead to feelings of tolerance, sympathy, consideration for the person who hurt you. So this card may be prompting you to consider any hurt or pain that you may have caused others. Um, ponder the times when others have forgiven you. Forgiveness is a process. Um, you may need to reflect on small offenses more than once and bigger offenses even more so. Um, so this card is just telling you that you need to um, be able to forgive and um, give forgive give um, forgiveness to those that hurt you and give forgiveness to yourself for the things that you did to hurt others. All right. And for pile number one, your bonus oracle card from Earth Magic is River. River resembles movement. The softened light from the sun falls upon this meandering river, the sparkles reflecting the gentle movement taking place in the river's body. She moves easily around the curves and rocks, sometimes gently as portrayed in this card, or sometimes quite rapidly and intensely. Still, the river's movement will always eventually land her in the bosom of Great Grandmother Ocean. Some of her water will evaporate along the way to feed the waters of the sky, just as it takes place in any other bodies of water, and bless the land and the seas with replenishment in a perfectly natural cycle that helps the planet sustain itself. Water is our lifeblood, a nutrient more essential than food. The flow of water throughout our own body serves as a metaphor for how life itself flows through us and expresses us as us. Fighting or blocking the flow of your life force can lead you to feeling spiritually void and discontent from source. Just like the metaphor of the river, it does not work to force or fight this compelling movement. When you simply pay attention and observe the flow, it becomes easier to navigate your experiences and see what lies ahead, or at least get a sense of what is to come by the ever-changing geography that unfolds as you cruise along. Okay, pile number two. Pile number two, your first card is card 41, Soul Song. This card is a transmission from your soul. This card is telling you to tune in to the soundtrack of life. This card is telling you that your soul emits a beautiful song. Think of it as a pulsating light moving in rhythm from the universe. Your song travels through light and it is the background music of your life. Even if you can't hear your song with your physical ears, know it exists. We know animals can hear sounds we can't. Your song is always resonating through the universe along with the music of the spheres and the sound of the universe that it makes when it is born the greatest song of all. You can tune in to it through your heart and your throat. Be willing to live your life from your highest, most aligned, most loving perspective. The next song or piece of music that moves your inner world will help you to tune into your soul song. Or you can go out into the nature. The music of nature, uh, it will balance and detoxify and align with the sounds of the earth. And you will find the steps that it will take to find your soul song. So this, so this card is telling you that you need to be looking for your soul song. Okay, the next card for pile number two is card 20, Healing the Earth. This card is about love, humility, and respect. This is a message from your soul family, from your spirit guides, your ancestors, the angels, all of our soul family that are there to gently help us along from the other side. We, the humans that have left the care of the, well, we, the humans have left the care of the planet to the greater unseen spirits all about us. Some, in true, have taken up the burden created by the many, and we rage and race towards an abyss, telling ourselves that what matters is only today. But tomorrow matters for those yet to be born, and for the wisdom within you, that can be remembered by the children of the future. 
Yet the forests have been murdered, the waters polluted, the gifts of the earth brought to a surface and used as playthings. It is time to heal and to remember, for the great ones can do so much, but the true healer must take place in our hearts. Sorry, the true healing must take place in our hearts and move along in our actions. Earth healing can be felt on those special days when the gates open and we can feel the floods of energies pour down. We can help weave those energies into the people by demonstrating what matters most. We can choose to help our mother, the earth, to be one of service and to have a humble attitude and expression of energy towards her. We can walk gently and openly and know we must help her. We can pick up the fallen bird, plant a tree, speak our truth, live life, this life, and this planet, and make sure that we show that it matters. It is temporary, this life, but it matters what we do with it. And now you're being asked to be of service through expressing love, humility, respect for the earth, and your actions. Let this great goddess nurturing the earth nurture you too. This path will take you away from the disposable and ungrateful, the careless, and move you on to a deeper, truer expression of your soul. Beautiful. So your spirit guides are there helping you to help the earth. And they're asking that you uh, maybe plant a tree, um, plant some seeds in some way. It doesn't have to be a, a literal plant. Um, plant some seeds of love or plants you know maybe literally take it in nature go out and and go you know in the trees and and just touch them and allow yourself to enjoy those moments for pile number three card number three or for pile number two card number three you pick card number 42 the card's name is unconditional love this is a message from the universe this is a message from the universe for you Continuing to love someone no matter what may be difficult. However, love is always worthwhile. You are made up of love, 100%. This is the truth of your very being. No matter how upset you are, how much you beat yourself up, or unknowingly hurt other people, you will always have love residing in you. Your heart is seeking love at every second of your life. Loving unconditionally means giving love without expectation. Being the giving, the love you want to experience, in your relationships can be the hardest lesson of life. A big part of unconditional love is forgiveness. You limit your ability to achieve unconditional love when you blame someone for a past wrong or rehash past sufferings. Beat yourself up and blaming your sadness on the past only triggers more distress in your life. You have a purpose in life and you have a choice. You can let the past haunt you and inflict more suffering in your life or you can forgive yourself and get back to living your purpose. Two fairies depicted in this message. One fairy has her hands on her heart as if she is receiving love. The other fairy is openingly expressing love to her friend. The rainbow hues symbolize magical blessings. Rainbows remind us of the benefits that come from hoping and believing that unconditional love heals all things. There is so much love being shown to you every day. Unconditional love is your greatest challenge and your greatest joy. And for pile number two, your bonus oracle card from Earth Magic is Mountain Strength. The massiveness of the mountain in this image, bearing the blankets of snow as spectacular hues from the sun reflected from its body, evokes a sense of impenetrable and immovable strength and stature. A mountain's quiet, resolute immensity leaves us in awe and inspires to us to reach for greater heights. It can also pose challenges, though. The firm base of the mountain evolves to the narrowest crest in its attempt to reach the sky. More daring individuals become enamored by the peak and see it as something to conquer, although it can never be truly conquered. When the mountain feels threatened in some way or simply shrugs its shoulders, the strength exhibited can wreak havoc, can wreak havoc for all beings caught in its skin. It makes no sense to deny the strength you have at the cost of allowing yourself to be reactive and subject to external influences far beyond what is healthy for you. Imagine yourself as a mountain of strength, solidly grounded in the earth, your head held high as if you were touching the sky. Do so without straining, just as the mountain itself does not strain. The current situation calls for you to be vigilant 
but not to the point of fear or paranoia. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed your Mother's Day pick a pile reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest for your mama. Love you guys.